All right, last video for the day. 88% of gang rapists have migrant backgrounds. We're going to finish these videos off on a happy note. Uh, now, this is obviously in Sweden. Maybe Sweden, remember this for your next upcoming election? Just saying. There's a hint there somewhere. A study by the Swedish newspaper... Afton Bland, Bland, I might be mispronouncing, has found that 88% of gang rapists in the Scandinavian country over the past six years have had migrant backgrounds. Imagine my shock. The investigation looked into 58 court cases involving convicted gang rapists since July 2012. 82 out of the 112 convicted gang rapists were born outside of Europe while just 13 had to Swedish parents, meaning that 88% had to a migrant background of some sort. 25 of the culprits were from Afghanistan, 9 from Iraq, and 7 from Somalia. It's funny how those statistics seem to say what we've been saying for quite a while, isn't it? This study also found that the victim's meddling age was just 15 years old with the most perpetrators being aged between 15 and age 20 years. So, obviously, look, 15 years old, obviously, for victims is terrible, it's disgusting, it's completely what we've been saying for some time now. Obviously, they're going after the ones that are young, are weak, they're easy targets, yada, yada, yada. Um, perpetrators age 15 to 20 years old, I'd like to challenge that. I reckon if you go through an age-tested everybody, you find a lot of them are older than that. They're claiming to be young because that way they can get through on the kids' visa or kid court case or whatever it may be. But I think if you age tested a lot of them, most of them will be over the age of 20. The number of gang rapes convictions has more than doubled in four years with the affluent ba bla blanket, sorry, it might be mispronouncing, explaining that perpetrators have a disordered view of sexuality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can say it's distorted. Don't rape people. Which leads to them mistreating women. But hey, you won't hear feminists going off about it, will you? Last month it was reported that Swedish women who had campaigned in favour of migrants and refugees were brutally gang-raped by two Afghan migrants who she agreed to follow back to their asylum centre after the night out. A private study of 4,142 rulings regarding sex-related crimes passed by 40 sh Swedish courts believe that 2002 to 2014 found that 95.6% of rapes were committed by men of foreign descent. Two out of three rapes where aggravated circumstances were committed by newly arrived migrants or approved asylum seekers. Officials' crime statistics show that reported rapes have increased 34% in the last 10 years. Congratulations, Sweden. Welcome to multiculturalism. Are you happy with it yet? With the national elections coming up in September, the anti-mass migration Sweden Democrats are polling number one amongst people aged between 13, 18 to 34. Sweden Democrats, yeah, yeah, they, they want to reduce population. We have people on the channel that, that are subscribed to us that are, that are from Sweden. Uh, maybe they could recommend a decent party that is against mass migration. Not saying they are going to vote for them, but just saying... Um, if not, they can hit me up on Twitter and I'll post it in the description below. Um, Sweden Democrats, yeah, they are, but th there's, a, there's a few people that are running on that. So it's more than just them. Um, guys, look at the end of the day. What's my view on all this very quickly so I can go to bed? It's disgusting. Um, this is absolutely appalling. And this is something that we've been trying to let people know about for a year now. I'm, we're not surprised. I'm not shocked by these numbers. I'm really not. And I'm sorry, but I I can't pretend to be. that. We knew it was bad over there. You're the, literally importing a third world into your country. What did you expect was going to happen? 
hugs and kisses? Well, you're getting them, but it's normally after you've been raped. And if you want to blame someone about this, blame the leftists. We do. They're the ones that push this. So, am I surprised? No. Am I shocked? No. Am, am I sorry? Yeah, I, I, I would have loved to go into Sweden. It sounds like a beautiful country. It sounded. Don't know about now, though. I don't know, guys. I don't know what your, your thoughts are in the comment section below. Are you really shocked by these numbers? Are you? Uh, does this surprise you at all? Or are you like, no, pretty much this, this is going to be the way. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.